Hello everyone, Solikos again, here with my continuing explanations of circle casting. Today I'm going to be talking about sky clad ritual. Now in circle casting and ritual practice you will hear the term sky clad. Sky clad literally means clad in the sky which means practicing magic naked. Now when you're a solitary witch, sky clad magic is more commonly found because you're not with other However, you will find times where you'll find covens who wish to practice skyclad. Now, the benefits of practicing skyclad is that when you practice completely naked, you can completely be more in tune with the spirits because when you were originally on this world, you didn't have clothes on your backs. We were, as animals and others are, naked. Clothes were made to protect you from the elements, but in the craft, your main goal is to attune yourself to the elements. Now, I do have some recommendations if you want to practice skyclad. If you're in a coven, and it's a skyclad practicing coven, and you're not necessarily ready to practice skyclad yet, there are a few things you can do. First off, find someone in the coven that you're really close to who's the same gender as you. Tell them about your on you know your uneasiness of being sky clad and for who knows they might be uneasy too. Practicing in a small group with the same gender helps deduce your more depression. You know your if you practice the same gender for a little bit, small groups, it helps you not be nervous around other people. Another thing you can do is uh after you practice with a friend or have a number who's the same gender then maybe you can expand to bigger genders but here's a quick warning now being sky clad has nothing to do with sexual preferences or sexual orientation or sexual interest in any point at all being sky clad is supposed to be made for pure spiritual purposes a lot of people think that it's like sexual and things like that and that's actually insulting Wicca is a sexually open religion, but being skyclad has nothing to do with that at all. However, if you don't want to be skyclad, but you still want to be somewhat, here's another recommendation I can more offer you. Personally, I don't enjoy practicing completely skyclad. If you're a male, I can recommend uh, practicing how you would if you were to just go swimming. Same thing for a female. Dress up in swimming trunks or just shorts, not a shirt on. If you do that, then you know you're not completely sky clad. You have your areas contained, and yet you're still halfway exposed to the elements. Um, I do have some friends who are male who, pr who actually like to practice magic in their boxers and not actually be completely sky clad. Now, sky clad is not a requirement of circle casting at all. It's an option. You don't have to do it at all. If a coven tells you that you have to be a skyclad practitioner in order to be in their coven, I recommend you find a different coven if you don't accept that belief. Uh, like I said, males, females, the best thing you can do if you don't want to completely practice skyclad is be in swimming wear. It's, you know, it's, it keeps the main areas contained and yet you'll be so much better. Some covens practice in robes with no clothes underneath. You know, it keeps you contained. Now, uh, benefits of skyclad magic is some people feel that when you are drawing down the god or goddess in a circle, that they more willingly go into you because you're free-spirited and you're not really wearing anything. Well, this can all be true, but it can also be false. Your deity that you choose or use in your magic loves you for who you are. You don't need to be practice skyclad magic in order to be more attuned with your deity. Finally, in skyclad magic, you just have to be really careful who you're practicing with because there can be, I don't really like to use more words, but there could be some perverted people who might try to trick you to do skyclad magic just so they can see you. Now there's another type of skyclad magic that isn't really practicing wise. Uh, let's say you were doing an increasement spell or a healing spell or a protection spell. Um, and like you were doing it on a friend of yours and they might need a certain specific area to be sky clad. For example, one of my friends, uh, Poodle Groin, and I 
did a spell for them, but I did that part sky clad. I had no offense to them, they had no offense. If you have trust in someone, then you could practice. More sky clad involving magic for healing and other such. But as long as you remember that sky clad magic is not supposed to be a perverted kind of thing. Never be afraid to do sky clad magic by yourself. But take caution when practicing in larger groups. This has been Selikos with the discussion on sky clad magic. Blessed be.